Hola! To Marcus Cole coming to us all the way from Berlin. Marcus, ¿qué tal, amigo? Buena cosa, ¿qué tal, Richard? How are you? Well, first of all, uh, thanks so much for having me here. Congratulations for a hell of a job you're doing. It looks, I mean, like a TV production. I mean, really, what you did here, I mean, wow, wow. Uh, and it's a pleasure, you know, to be around it. so many great harmonica players, so many already friends that, that I made there in Brighton. So really, it's going to be a pleasure for me. It's going to be fun. And Thank first, you. before I continue, I got to explain. I got to explain all that video you, you, you just saw, because, you know, when I see myself, I feel, I feel a little embarrassed, you know, because all that clowning. But that day, as some of you know, uh, I had to play right after Fede Bath. You know, and you saw yesterday what happened, you know, so it was, I mean, before, before I went to Brighton, I knew that I had to play after him. So I said, okay, wow. I, I just uh, knew him by YouTube and I said, wow, okay. This, this guy play virtuoso like this, like that. So I have to make another program, you know, you know, I had also my fancy songs, but I said, okay, I skip them. I just play a couple. So when I was there, when he started playing, I said, Okay, plan B, man. <laughs> Take the, the, those couple songs and do what you do, what I do that he wasn't doing, you know, to try to put something different, which is the clap your hands, come on, and let's let's have a party because at the end, that's that's what is a lot of Latin music is, is about that, you know, it's about party and, you know, at least, hey, I could not get the virtuosity, but I could give them their t entertainment. <laughs> you absolutely nailed it. We're still talking about it today. And you were backed by some fabulous guys I've forgotten to mention this week. Hell yeah. There with Simon Sparrow on bass and um, uh, Duke Joint Jerry on the drums, Matt Guitar, Windler on gu uh, guitar, the Blackjacks. Yeah, they did. I mean, they did a hell of a job, really. Fantastic. So as you rattle through your rehearsal in 20 minutes, it was on the video there. But you, I tell you, you Mark, saw it. We was in your house. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, OK. Yeah, it was exactly. And <laughs> I remember you were here. Fede was here. We went to the uh, the French uh, Paris house where there was a Brazilian band. You remember Fede got up there and did his stuff and there yeah. was snow everywhere. He'd He'd never seen the snow before. And we wrote it in the top of a table outside the pub. This is Snow Fede. We took a picture so he could uh, keep that and take it home with him. And you guys were knocking back a few Guinnesses <laughs> together. And I tell you what, the whole weekend was sensational. And you just brought it to a crescendo there, my man. So welcome back to your second time at Harping by the Sea. I'm so pleased you could join us. What yeah. have you been up to? Well, uh, f uh my last gig, I think it was in f beginning of November, you know, now here everything, every club is closed, every festival in Spain or, or, or Germany or so. So what could I do? I was learning some more chords on the piano and I'm doing a new CD, I mean, new album, which uh, I'm really excited and because it's going to be just on Spanish music and especially from where I come from, really roots music is the most rooted music I'm, I, uh, album I'm I, I ever gonna do. And yeah, I have, a, I have my favorite producer in Spain doing it, he offering me to do it. So I'm, I'm really like dreaming, you know, and he liked it, what I send it and I'm really all the time with the logic, bam, 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 with ideas, hearing all melodies from, from, from my grandma, from, you know, all, all, all of that. So yeah, I'm having fun with that at least. That's fantastic. But I guess like so many of uh, our artists at the moment, it's, uh, unprecedented times and it's so difficult to get out and do what you love so passionately right hmm. yeah and yeah luckily you know here with the with the money the german government to the musicians he throw us thousand euros here thousand euros there you know so with that and i mean for a couple of months i even had to get me a cleaning job you know cleaning some because hey i mean my savings were all gone <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't have many savings because with music, you cannot have many savings with a harmonica, but what can you do? That point, Marcos, on exactly that point. That's why we're here this weekend. So to everybody joining us on YouTube, 
here on Zoom as well, all around the world, I do implore you, please, please, put your hands in your pocket, go to our PayPal and help these folks out because uh, these are difficult, difficult times and they have such riches to share with us. Um, Marcus, you're going to yeah. take us into the wonderful world now of Latin music. What have you got lined up for us? Okay, I'm going to try in this time we got to give you as many examples of styles. As you saw yesterday with Fede, uh, he was playing uh, candomble, he was playing, I think, chacarera or some, uh, you know, traditional music from Uruguay. And I mean, to say Latin music is like to say Anglo music, you know, there's thousands of styles, thousands. So I'm going to focus more on like more the more um, popular styles, more the party styles, you know, which is like uh, cumbia, norteña, habanera, and uh, yeah, those, those, those three, rumba also. So, yeah. I'm going to step aside now. I'm going to hand over to you. I do have one or two PDFs of music if you need help. Otherwise, yeah. Fred, if you want to share your end, that's fine. Yeah, I'll share. I, I was uh, I was talking to you, Trevor, so I'll I'll share the screen and and you can put them on the chat if if the people yeah, people they, want they, them. Uh, so what I will do also because so they're fresh in, I will hook them up to your artist page on our website. So if folks wish to download and keep those later on, they can go there. Will you be joining people in the bar afterwards? Do you? Of think? course. <laughs> what a question, man! <laughs> I will, I will. Marcos, thank you. Thank you, Richard. So, uh, Latin music. Um, okay, first, I'm, I'm gonna put you in perspective of um, how I understand uh, Latin music on the harmonica. Because first of all. There's not many examples of, of Latin harmonica music. Um, I mean, now these days, like in Argentina, like the Buenos Aires Harmonica School, you found thousand uh, people playing tango, cumbia, whatever. But you know, when I when I started playing, there was not not uh, examples, especially no internet or nothing. So yeah, um, I learned harmonica. I, I mean, I'm 44, but but uh, I, I started playing like gigs in bars for uh, with with 14 something like that you know uh, like one year after i was playing i was getting gigs i don't know why but uh so that's why i learned all this clowning and thing because um you know we had to entertain people in in bars and and you know i always said it you know i learned playing by by um, entertaining alcoholics and 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 that kind of people at night so you know that gave me the the, um, the show thing and the understanding of okay you know, there's certain situations where, where music is about entertaining, you know, not about uh, nice scales or nothing. Hey, people see in a bar drinking, girls and everything. They want to dance. They want to have fun, you know. But yeah, we'll go later with that. So I, I, when I started, you know, I, I didn't even know my first, 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 first concert, you know, that was in a bar, like playing three songs with a bang band or something. I didn't know, I don't know what positions I played. I just had three harmonicas and I was trying, okay, this one fits, this was, uh, okay. So my very first approach to harmonica was like, uh, there was no no internet, no no books, uh, harmonica books or nothing in there. I just had the blues records, you know, and I didn't figure out how it was. So then I got me a book. It was called like the pocket handbook or something like that. I. I I regret that I forgot the, the, the name of, of, of whom. So I discovered what it was like second position and, and the bendings and the blues. So I went hooked, you know, at that time I was really hooked to, to blues. I was like, yeah, I'm 14, uh, 13, 14. And I was just sunny boy, sunny boy, sunny boy. Yeah. Little boy. You know, I was just hooked into that. So I was just thinking in second position, I discovered second position and don't get me out of that. So at that time, you know, I mean, uh, Latin music in, in Spain, uh, we have, especially in Galicia, because immigration coming back, uh, we have um, our traditional Spanish music, but we got a lot of also Mexican music, Colombian music, because it was the same people going and, and, and coming back. And so the music was also traveling. 
and you go to a normal party uh, of Romeria that is called where all the old people, young people go and you hear a lot of cumbia, you hear a lot of um, bolero, rancheras, everything. So I always had that in my head, you know, like, um, you know, by, by being born there, you know, they, 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 uh, for instance, the six, eight, uh, the, those melodies and everything, I had them, but, you know, I didn't, I was into blues, really, really into blues. So I didn't care about nothing else. So my first approach to, to um, something with a Latin flavor or something was like playing like things like. Um... You know that kind of things and and also like for instance uh, a song uh, that it was made famous by i mean it was written by kenny borrell but um uh, junior wells uh, made it famous uh, that it was called chidling con carne and this one i'm gonna share the screen because i have the um, the the notes here just i mean we're not gonna work on on songs but you know, so uh, I think uh, Paul or, or Richard are gonna share the, the notes on the on the chat, so you can have them. I'll give you a little uh, example. So here it goes. Wait. Okay. So for instance, this chilling con carne. Uh, as I told you, uh, I didn't know what at the, at the beginning was what was third position or nothing. So I was just figuring out by myself. So this song, I always played it in, in second position. Normally people play it in, in, um, in third position. So I was always doing like, like, And with this song, I, it helped me learn that, okay, you know, I was, I was getting frustrated because I was going in minor blues. I was, oh man, there's a note there that it don't fit. So until with this song, I learned to get the minor on the, on the second position. So for instance, this, sorry. I wonder, can you uh, enlarge the um, tabs on the screen? Yeah. Make them a little bit bigger so we can read them a, a little more easily. Like this. It's okay like this? That that helps. Thank you. Thank you. Ben. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, uh, this song, um, you can do it. <laughs> no, hey, the, wrong. <laughs> oh, I got it. Shit. <laughs> Second, in third, you know, you can do it in, in both ways. So I think this is a, a nice song to, um, to, to start playing some uh, with Latin flavor, some, some blues. I go back to the, to the normal one. But the very first song that I, that I played, like a Latin song, it was with uh, my old band, Los Reyes del Cao, and it was a song called La Paloma that I'm gonna uh, put you in uh, just the beginning in YouTube and I'll give you also the, the notes. Just a second. So here would be from the record. I, I don't, I'm not gonna put it all, but just to hear the, the, the phrase. Okay, so this would be La Paloma, and I'm gonna show you the 
where we got it here. This would be like this on a D harp first position. Like... The, the, the beat is uh, it's a colabanera. This would be the bass, you know, and it goes like. This would be the 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 main phrase, you know. Then you can go. So at the end, it's like kind of a, like a rumba blues, you know, it works almost the, the same way all because, you know, it's, it's two chords, you know, going back and forth, going back and forth. So it's not complicatedly complicated um, in chords or nothing. So let me put this out. So, um, so this was with, um, like I told you, with this band, Los Reyes del Cao, which I wasn't playing Latin music. It was just a, a song that we was playing uh, as Latino music. But then we stopped playing this, uh, me and Adrian Costa, we was uh, the band. And so um, I was playing a lot in Mexico with Emiliano Juarez, who is a hell of a, hell of a, a hell of a, a guitar player. And, and sorry, behind me. And we was touring a lot in Mexico, playing a lot in Mexico. So uh, playing blues, I mean, blues festivals and anything. Uh, but um, we was always ending up in the cumbia dances and everything. So one day we said, hey, man, would be nice to, to instead of, you know, playing blues with a little touch of, of Latin, playing Latin music, Latin popular music with a little touch of blues, you know, so then we say, okay, let's start, start this project. But at, uh, at that moment, uh, I was like totally like, like I was when I started playing the harmonica. Um, I didn't, I didn't have any, any reference to, to follow, you know, on, 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 on cumbia bands, uh, there was no harmonica on uh, Cuban bands or whatever, or Norteña's bands, uh, there was no harmonica. So uh, I had to think what I could do and, and, and think about the paper, the, the role of the, of the harmonica in the band, you know, what I was doing before was like, a role like a, like a blues player, you know, answering the 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 vocals, you know, uh, yeah. So here I had to do something different. I had to like do the parts because we was just guitar, bass, and drums. No even piano, no horns, no nothing. So I had to do the the um, the melodies of the horn lines or the accordion or the trumpet. You know that that was my role besides some solo here and there. Um, so I had to thing how i could how i could do it um and i started copying the um, the yeah the horn lines the the what i could hear what i could get so first um i'm gonna go with the uh, um the sound the so, uh, sonority sonoridad in spanish i don't know how you, it's, it's the sack word in, in english uh but the the, the sound color tonality tonality yeah sorry <laughs> uh in latin music people is not used to hear a harmonica so a harmonica is a very particular instrument in blues always fits okay but in many other music the people is uh the ears uh they go tend to like what they're used to hear if suddenly it's new uh, 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 they can like it after but it's always you know tricky <clears throat> 
So I had to really think how it was going to fit the sound of the harmonica into that. Um, sorry, I need to put some some light in the, in the house because here it's already dark. One second. Just whilst, um, whilst Marcus is lighting up, so to speak, um, just let you know we are actually adding the tabs that you'll be seeing to hit the artist page. They'll be available in about five or ten minutes for you. Thank you. So, yeah, what I was saying, I was working, uh, focusing a lot uh, in the sound um, because um, the melodies at the beginning, you know, at first I thought uh, about, about the music, the harmonies. First I thought, OK, I have to study again. How are the changes and everything? But then I saw that it came natural to me because I had those melodies in the head. So uh, I don't know. I took uh, normally first position and 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 it worked very very well. So I, what I thought it was gonna be more complicated at the end was easier than I thought. And what I thought it was gonna be easier, which was the sonority and everything. I was thinking, yeah, I can put effects and and everything, make it sound like an accordion with some chorus, something like that. And uh, for me, it didn't work out too well. <laughs> I mean, I, I I hear the result now like seven years ago. And for instance, I was trying to play Norteña sounding like an accordion and I was using too much Chorus and now I hear it and sounds like Mickey Mouse shit. You know? <laughs> so, you know, I was trying many things until, you know, finding the way. So the first thing that I realized is to um, is to use a lot of octaves, you know, to make it like fuller. Like, for instance, um, we're gonna go with, um, I think we're gonna start with a Norteña here. I'll share the screen one second. One second. Yeah. Uh, wait. Sorry. I'm fine. I'm fine. Why don't appear? Sorry, I don't find. I don't find this. This song. Uh. Never mind. I'll, I'll. Ah, I had it. I had it before. Okay, this this song is. Um, I'll I'll put you the. Um, while I I look for it, I'll put you the. The PDF, the the notes, so you can. I'll see if I can find the track for you. It's. Alatenia. Yeah, because I don't have the. Wait one second. Maybe like this appears. Alright. It was appearing not I don't understand nothing. One second, please. Okay, let's go, let's go with the until I find it, let's go with this. Let's go with the cumbia, I'm sorry. Let's go with la morena. Let's go like this.
Okay, so this would be La Morena, which as you see, I'm playing it with uh, chromatic harmonica, and it's, a, it's a, a, harmo a chromatic harmonica, but I'm sure not all of you have it. So you can take a, a, a harp, just an A harp, and, and the notes just make it just up. You know, it would be... Okay, a cumbia, a cumbia would be, would be like this, you know, the rhythm is... So, this song... So, this is the, a typical kind of cumbia, like... like All in third position. As you see, I'm just I'm just blowing, drawing, blowing down. You know, it's just blow, draw, blow, draw. So it cannot be more simple. So here you got um, that you can do it. You know, with the chromatic. I wasn't. So it would be uh, would be like this. You can take um, a, those who got a C harmonica. So this one. That would be the, I mean, a classic cumbia, cumbia beat, you know, and it's, it's just, it's just that. I mean, cannot be more simple. It's just getting the um, the rhythm. So one thing that I was uh, realizing when 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 I was uh, learning how to play this music, I mean, not learning, adapting my my, my harmonica, you know, to a harmonica to that, is uh, that bendings uh, like the blues way it didn't sound that good, you know, because uh, it's it just didn't sound that good. I mean, sometimes, yeah, but, but you know, you needed at least for the horn lines, for other, you needed more like punchy, the, the notes. So I realized that first position, uh, besides the in, in the scale wise, uh, it was working better, you know, because when you blow, it's like, going... oh. you know, it's, it hits more, you know. You uh, you can accent, accent uh, give the accent um, uh, better, and of course for minor minor uh, songs, third position was was working very good because as you saw there, you know, I didn't have to do any bending, and I, it was you know just came totally naturally, uh, drawing up, uh, uh, blowing up, so. Uh, really simple. Look what I uh, let's see what I got here. Uh, so this would be a cumbia, you know. Cumbia is uh, comes from Colombia, but it went all over the world. You have in Argentina, Villa Cumbiera, in Mexico, in Peru, in Chile, different kinds of cumbia, you know, with uh, different uh, variations. So this would be a typical cumbia, and I want to find that song, la la. Um, La Calateña, but you know, I don't want to make you lose time. I mean, maybe you can ask me something uh, while I'm looking for it. And so we don't lose, we don't lose time here. I don't know, Richard, what you think? I don't hear you. I think you're muted. 
So yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, if anyone's got any questions, I'm happy to feed those them through to um, Marcos. What I will say is the tabs that you've sent through are now available on your artist page um, on our website. So for those of you joining us on YouTube, you go to harpingbythesea.com and find the artist page, guest artists, scroll down to Marcos, and at the top in resources are the tabs for all his songs. Um, Pauline says it's really interesting to hear how you're incorporating harmonica into Latin American music. Um, Adam says, I love the ca callabo, callabo. You have to get my, my Spanish pronunciation. Collabo, uh, like collaboration. Oh, collabo. Oh, they're, they're, I'm thinking that's a funky Spanish, uh, Spanish rhythm, you know. Okay, so he loves the collaboration you do with Indiara, your remarkable artist. Oh yeah, with Indiara, I mean, she is a remarkable artist. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I'm Indiara is in uh, Brazil, no? Uh, yeah, Indiara is in Brazil, yeah. So I mean, Mar I think, oh yeah, 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 I know, I know where I have it. I know where, where I, I know where I can find it. And plus we got a special guest. Yeah? Yeah, 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 in this video. Someone's <laughs> asking if you do any salsa uh not really not really I, I mean some some kind of approach but not not really not no. really yeah not really I, say, I guess there are so many latin rhythms you can't do them yeah, yeah 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 it's like another world i'm gonna i'm gonna share the screen one second okay so so sure, we can do this this okay yeah is this one I mean, it's not the same version, but at least you you can you can hear the song. Oh, doing that, of course, Mark, because it's Super Bowl today. Uh, here. Belen Ramirez, Ramirez, really? Put your hands together, to him for Hayden. All the way down from Holland, as if he was Texas.
Okay, so that would be that would be the the um, the Norteña, you know, Norteña. The 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 rhythm comes from polka, Eastern European. A lot of melodies from Norteña. Norteña is the this classic music from um, uh, from uh, north of Mexico, all over Mexico. But that's uh, many people call it ranchera, corridos, narco corridos. <laughs> you know, there's many many different ways. And as you see, it's is polka but the the melodies uh, many come from galicia for from where i come from from muñeiras and you know it's also simple music and what i was doing um this is was our original um composition from from the band well no. well sorry it was in 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 c That would be the phrase, and it's yeah, it got it's tricky like there. But as you see, there's not any band or nothing. You know, I'll share the. I mean, uh, you. I think they they have also the the um, the notes there, in the in the in the chat, right? I'll, uh, this is the thing. So it's like. Long time I don't, I don't play it, uh, so it's they got some some little it's simple music, but got some little tricky things, especially with ry rhythm, with syncopations, with you know that's the Marcus Adams. Yeah. Uh, he loves it. He grew up with this music. Adams joined us, and he says uh, he grew up with this music. It's an amazing uh, lesson to play. He playing with his uncles. He used to play it. Oh. And uh, Scotty's saying he's suddenly got a hankering for elotes, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the, the yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, 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 elotes, he loves this, market. elotes and cenotes. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, he's loving Whoa. the energy, the passion, the love of music and life. It's great music, rhythms, and great playing. He says, Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, uh, Latin music, you know, if you go to, um, to, um, a Latin dance, a cumbia dance, uh, you can see that the bands are playing 20 minute songs like and they're just grooving, grooving. Okay, they, they, they have um, a line that they repeat many times, you know, like the, the theme of the of the song, you know, the, the head of the song. But then they are just talking, hey, we want to say hello to blah, 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 blah. Hey, and we see there, you know, and just because the people just want to be like this, you know. They, they don't, you know, they, they don't want to hear solos. They don't want to pay attention to the band, really, you know, some sometimes. Yeah, but what they want is, you know, to be dancing and not looking at the band. So it's a lot about the, the groove and the intention, you know, when the horns come, they got to come. They got to, for instance, uh, I have this, this song that we recorded also. That's uh, La Cosecha de Mujeres. Let me, let me find it. Um, in YouTube, I hope, I hope it is. Uh, also have uh, notes for this. If I find it, because that that have a, a nice. Okay, yeah, I'll share the screen. So let me put it here, because that's that's um. Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, I put it and I'll I'll find the um... La 
cosecha de mujeres nunca se acaba. La cosecha de mujeres nunca se acaba. La cosecha de mujeres nunca se acaba. Y la cosecha de mujeres nunca se acaba. Vamos a ver. Se acaba la papaya, se acaban las sandías, se acaban los melones, se acaban los manguitos, se acaba la guayaba, se acaban las la cosecha de mujeres nunca se acaba y la cosecha de mujeres nunca se acaba la cosecha de mujeres nunca se acaba y la cosecha de mujeres nunca se va y rimi okay wait ah uh, fuck so this would be another La Cosecha de Mujeres is a traditional song. We did it more in a funky way. And wait, I have the, 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 the screen here. We got it here and it goes like. Get, it's, it's a tricky that Lisando to go up. Long time I don't play these these songs, but yeah, it's a it's a I think it's a nice song, and and you know you can learn that uh, that 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 melody because it's you know it's been played by millions of band all over South America. You know, I'll I'll do it slow so you can get it. As you see, everything here is, is with octaves, you know, because it's like I told you before. Um, I always felt that these songs they, they needed to 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 sound powerful, and the best the best way that I that I thought it it was like octaving everything, especially you know in the in, in the chromatic, you know, to to sound because you know. This sounds weak, you know, especially if you're if you don't if you just have a drum, bass, and and guitar, you know, at least. I think sounds more powerful, and yeah, a little pedal here and there. Or although these times I'm trying to 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 use more the the tonalities of the of the harmonica itself than better than pedals. There's some good pedals, some octavers. Cool, of course, Long Wolf got great pedals all over for doing everything, but I'm trying to to focus more on the on the sound itself of the harmonica, uh, on the positions, because uh, depending on the position, it is like I was telling you before, you know, uh, first position is you blow, so it's, it's like you can accentuate better many things. And, and yeah, wait, I'll stop sharing. And yeah, that's my that's my kind of my approach to 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 Latin music. Also, uh, to put the harmonica in Latin music. Also, like one thing, for instance, uh, if I have to um, play a melody that it's all already been written, and it don't sound good for the harmonica, uh, I try to adapt it. For instance, uh, for the last record, I'm recording one song. It just came to my head. Um, that is is doing something like so on the harmonica was something like fi 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 it it wasn't doing the a good effect so i do you know i i i take some notes out but uh still the song is there and and sounds much more much more beautiful you know and that's what I'm I'm doing all all the time, trying to you know, trying to find a way, trying to to, because you know. Sorry, Richard. Sorry, Marcus. On yeah. the tab on the second line, it says, "I think I'm reading under the three draw. Is it TB or is it tongue block?" Uh, let me hear uh, under the three. Under the three. 
I gotta say, by the way, uh, thank you to Santiago Cervi Cervino who did this all these notes and yeah, tongue blocking. Yeah, he always yeah tongue blocking in in two holes. Here it says it tongue blocking two holes. Draw. You're, you're splitting and then tongue blocking. TB yeah. three tongue block. TB. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Well, I'll I'll share it. So so, yeah, here. Here, right? Yeah. Tongue block. Yeah, because why? Because it, it it's it goes fast and you know it's it's adapting as i said as i was telling uh you know there's some some notes that are not gonna sound that good so yeah um just trying to figure it out and also um i gotta i gotta say um in our record um when i was telling you before that that i didn't have any reference for latin music for harmonica latin music I did have one uh, which was Charlie Muscle White in, in his record Continental Drifter that he recorded with El Cuarteto Patria. He recorded just four songs. One is Chan Chan, by the way. And I really loved it, what he did. Every critic in Spain, in, in every critic that I said, like, like top critics who was, uh, because he also was in Elia de Sochoa record. Um, when they was uh, making the critics from Elia de Sochoa, everybody was saying, man, the harmonica, this blues harmonica fits like a glove here. Uh, wow, you know, they, he had really good critics. And he was just playing blues. I mean, Charlie Master White blues, you know, on top. And for me, it worked really well. And for many things, I also, uh, especially for solos or for or for when I'm doing fields, you know, I I did I did I you know I I had a big influence. I mean, besides the influence I had from him for the blues, for from his blues side, and as an artist in general, um, you know, he's it's like he put me on on the way, you know, with okay, you can hey, you can play some Latin music. Um, and and put some blues harmonica into it and looks like it worked you know and and i mean uh charlie's a master for that and uh, he recorded a song uh for um, for my record with with this band with los mighty calacas which i'm i'm looking here it's called falsaria it's a bolero and i want to play it because um i mean everybody knows Charlie here, I'm sure. So everybody knows how he plays, what uh, he, the style he got. Um, yeah, I have it here. The style he got. Um, okay, uh, he's playing. I, I'm I, in this song. I start playing. All the fields is me in second position, bluesing. You know, but then he take the the solo in first position. Just hear it and and. And then we talk after, okay? <laughs> I put it just for a second. Ah, wait, uh, wrong, way wrong. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm not the... Okay, uh, what I was telling you, he does something that uh, for many people sounds strange. Um, and yeah, it's, it's in fact, it's a strange. Wait, I prefer that you hear it first and then and then you, you know, you tell me about it. Here's just me, it's, it's still me uh, playing blues and your second position. Sure. Dan Dando says, just goes to show how versatile the humble harmonica is. So much to explore. And Mark is saying, fantastic to hear the thought processes. Sorry, I was in, I was in, sorry. El juramento aquel era fingido Solo pienso Second position blue, normal. Con que te vendes, eh? No, 
quise agradar Yo por eso te odio ni te desprecio Aunque tengo poco oro So you heard, okay, I'm sure many of you, oh, he's putting a major on a minor. You know what I mean? It's uh, for, for, for some, uh, some people sound weird. Okay, uh, first of all, Charlie, he's been doing that all the time. I mean, it's, that's his style. He played with in fifth, uh, ninth position, 12, you know, he, he don't, he think the, in another way. And obviously, I mean, he, when we was uh, recording this, um, which, by the way, he didn't charge me nothing. And that's something that I'm going to, when I die, I'm going to remember that, you know, <laughs> one of the things I'm going to remember, you know, he wanted to do it because he liked the band and that's something I will have on my heart always. And I sent him the song and I really like this bolero, man. Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm up to it. Um, and he said, okay, send me, send me the course. You know, I, I, I think I know them all, but, but I think I gotta be unclear, but just, you know, so he really knows, he, he really knows what he's doing. The same as he knows what he's doing when he record with Cindy Lauper, with the Tom West band of Alabama and everything. I mean, those people got the top producers in mainstream music and shit. And obviously if there's something out of tune, they're going to say, it. you know, it doesn't matter if it's a legend or not. And, and so, you know, it's his style. So why well, I'm telling you this, because um, as there's no um, references in Latin music, any of you can find a way, you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to find my way, uh, putting the harmonica, like Charlie was doing it that way. I mean, that solo, I'm gonna tell you one thing, for those who, who, who sounded strange at the beginning, just trust me, hear it two, three times. I mean, Charlie deserves at least a couple of listens and it starts making sense. You start making it and, and it takes you somewhere. And for me, that's hard. You know, you can do the things by the book, uh, like putting a typical classic scale that you would uh, put in a bolero or, or do something else that you can like it or not. But, um, you know, I, I love it. I, I didn't hear this solo, in fact, in some in like years. And now when I heard it, it was like, I don't know, for me, it, it, it just uh that's my heart and 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 like i say you know it's it's another way and and 
it's it's all about finding a way you know it's like an unexplored territory you know i mean the ones who know more about this who can who can really tell you it's like like um fede and the people from argentina also that they are really into the harmonica and really into playing this you know but also they are they are discovering and and trying and and seeing how how they can adapt the harmonica Marcus, we're making our way quite rapidly towards the half past the 30 minute mark. So we're yep. going to have to, we, we're going to soon run out of time. So it's it's crazy how quickly one hour goes so fast, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, did you already, did you already uh, run through Paloma? I think. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I, I, but I can go again with La Paloma. No problem. Paloma, but I'm, I'm just keeping an eye on the clock because, um, we, we, we will have one of our sponsors with us very shortly. Yeah. Something you'd like to draw things on to just whilst we have a few moments left. Yeah. Or you can give me some questions from people or, or anybody share if they got, if I can learn something also that they, you know what I mean? Because, hey, I'm sure I can learn a lot from, from many of you. So, so about Latin, you know, approach of, of Latin music. So, or everybody, any anybody got an example or something? Someone here is saying, um, Ethan says, Falsaria is fantastic. What an experience. Marco, do you remember first hearing the fabulous Thunderbirds play Cherry Pink and Apple Blossom White? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I, did, I forgot to mention, but of course, you know, they, they was from, from, uh, from Austin, no? They was living in Austin, if I recall. So Tex-Mex, all of that, they, they had that, that, that influence, you know? And, and yeah, of course, the, the Thunderbirds, uh, it was always a lot of fun. In fact, we played with them, uh, uh, with, with this band in the, in the same festival, right after them, and it was a great experience because, you know, they, they, lo they love this music too, because it's in a way, it's in the roots too, because they are Mexico border, you know, so they, it all, it all comes. It's got uh, someone also. Jaime is saying, Muy encantado con todo. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> and Marco says, what kind of music is your new project? Uh, my new project, I mean, she, I, I was tempted to put something here, but you know, then the producer say, man, what are you doing? This is live and recording. And you know, anyway, I don't think there's any genius composition that nobody can steal or something, but it's still, uh, you know, I, I prefer to, it will come soon. But what I'm doing is uh, Muñeiras, which is the music from, from Galicia, where I grew up. Uh, Jotas, uh, which is where my grandma comes from um a little bit of cumbia of course too uh, uh also a norteña um it's like the the like i said the music you could hear when you go to a romeria to where the old people the young people from the little towns they you know once a, a year they do i mean not once a year more than once a year but um like the celebration where everybody brings food and and there's traditional music then there's uh traditional music but with electric bass and, and keyboards and, you know, you see all the colors. So that's what I'm trying to to put there, you know, from very traditional to some songs with, you know, with some more modern approach and some jazzes. Um, yeah, and I'm having a lot of fun with it just just because um, I was, I, I, you know, I was always playing 4-4. And now to to have to be solo in in six eight is already a, a you know you have to learn a, you know it's, it's not the same so it's really nice the harmonies and melodies that was not so difficult because it's popular music popular music at the end you almost do everything in first with a harmonic in first position you know what I mean and if not you change other notes it's, it's that that that's not the biggest problem no it's the approach also and also to put the harmonica on songs that you don't have examples you know well marcus i have to say a massive massive thank you from everybody thank you, by the you guys everybody joining us on youtube and zoom from all around the world um we've thoroughly enjoyed your insight into latin music and what you brought to us back in uh, 2019 with Fede and the Black Jacks. I remember that. Da, 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 I've got a video of the guys and you oh, practicing that 
in the kitchen here. And we didn't play it at the end. We didn't play it because I started clowning too much and blah, 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 put your hands together, blah, blah, blah. And they, they went the time. <laughs> That's okay. Slav is saying, I, I try and uh, my Spanish is nearly as good as my Swahili. He says, uh, Mucha suerte con tus proyecto musico y todo la vida, Marcos. Hey. Thank you all. I mean, uh, I gotta tell you, as 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 I was saying uh, before, before, I mean, I, I could not. I I, I I had to learn by. For instance, I learned that you could retune the harmonicas because uh, which I was walking down the street one day and I saw a couple British guys playing like Sonitary Burning Back They were just uh, uh, basking and, you know, we used to bask a lot also. And, and hey, man, hey, you also basking, you also play blues I'm in, in my town. What, man? <laughs> so, you know, we hook up and you say, yeah, man, this harmonica is broken. I said, yeah. And he said, fix it retune it i said what do you mean retune it you know <laughs> what 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 i was like wow you know he, he showed me and he and and yeah i was um learning all by that so for me this we're doing now is something i would never have dreamed in my wildest dream i would i would have dreamed that we would have more books you know i remember when i got the steve baker um a harp hand book that was like <laughs> you know all that info there that that's a really um well, it really uh, because steve baker's joining us tonight so you can i know i know i know right. <laughs> so okay. you know it was picking up here picking up there and now we have everything you know everything well, um i hope your basketball team is doing good as well it's doing good <laughs> yeah we like that sport right <laughs> yeah i mean i like sports especially basketball basketball boxing and football that's my three Perfect. My three kings. <laughs> Muchas gracias. We're going to have to call it to a close. Will you, will you be able to go to the break? Yeah, I'm oh, going right away. See you there? Yeah. Marcus, it's been wonderful having you back. Thank you for joining us. People, support thank Marcus you. with our PayPal link, please. And thank you in these difficult times. Give our love to your wife, your family, your children there in Berlin. We'll see you again very, very soon. Thank you, Marcus. Put your hands together. Thank you. Marcus Collins and Uncle Russ in the VT suite. Would you be so kind as to run VT?